Hey, what's up, everybody? This video is part of a series of videos dealing with personal finances and personal budgeting. I'm going to put this same intro at the beginning of each video. So one, if you've already watched the intro, you can go ahead and skip to today's topic. Two, if you see my clothes change or the nice virtual background change, uh, the reason will be because I recorded the rest of the video on a different day than I did this introductory video. So the point of this series is simply to do very quick hopefully two to five minute videos where we discuss a lot of topics dealing with personal budgeting and personal finances. So I'm going to record all of these. I have probably over 20 ideas for these really short videos. I'm going to release one a day over the next three to five weeks. And if there's a topic that you want to hear about, please go ahead and post it in the comments. Maybe it's one that I have coming up and then I'll release that one in the future. Or perhaps it's something that I haven't talked about or thought about on my list, and I can address that as I continue the series. So without any uh, further comments, let's go ahead and jump into today's topic. This is a bonus video, a second video on this day. I think we're on day five. Uh, we talked about zero-based budgeting. The question was, what kind of budget are we going to use? Yes, we're going to use zero-based budgeting. Watch that video. It just released this morning. I'm going to release this one this afternoon. And and so they're gonna they're gonna both be on the same day. So a little bonus video this day, two in one day. But the other type of budget, the other huge, and this this is as important as zero based budgeting. So it's part of your foundation that you've got to put together for any of this to work, for you to stick with it, and for it to work, and for you to reach your financial goals, for you to experience peace, stress free, uh, personal budgeting. All right then that key is you are using an envelope system budget. It is the only thing that will work. And the software that I use it does this. So, so envelope-based budgeting is what you're doing. That's probably the most common term for it. You could refer to it, you know, your categories, their buckets that you're putting money into, their envelopes that you're putting money into. Uh, you could do this with cash, right? You could have a drawer of envelopes with cash, $100 of cash for groceries, $200 of cash for gas, right? And then you're only going to spend what's in that envelope. But I would recommend having a virtual envelope system. Uh, we're going to talk about some software that you can use to do this uh, in you know the next day or two. But the, the key here is it's a zero-based budget, yes. And as important as that, equally important, is it's a an envelope system budget. You've got to be able to put money into these envelopes. That money has to carry over month to month. So in the video that I did about software, which hasn't released yet, but it will soon, is budget the a budget that forgets last month. If you have a software that forgets last month, it's useless. All right, it, it's not going to work. If you put fifty dollars into it this month and you only spend ten. 40 should carry over to next month because that money didn't disappear. You still have it and it's still in that bucket for you to use for that thing. Now, in the envelope system, you can take money out of that envelope and spend it, or you can take money out of that envelope and put it in another envelope. Doesn't mean it's stuck in that envelope forever, but but it's there until you take it out. The system that you're using, the, the software you're using should not forget that you budgeted that or that it is in that envelope. If you overspend an envelope and it's negative, you need a system because you've got to fill that envelope back up. You can't have negative money. It doesn't exist, right? You can have it in the software, but if you have negative $10 in one category, that just means if you only have two categories and one has negative 10 in it and the other has 30 in it, that's not true. One has zero and one has 20. You're just borrowing money from the other category. So you need to be able to move it and bring it back up to zero. So you have to bring negative money up to zero because you can't have negative money. It doesn't exist. And if there's money in the envelope, it needs to carry over and stay in the envelope. That's your envelope-based budgeting. That's super critical. It's the only type of budgeting that I believe works. My name is Brad. I'm with Wooten CPA. My goal is to bring peace to your tax and accounting responsibilities. One of the ways I do that is through these videos here on YouTube. Please like this video, share this video for others to see, and subscribe to the channel if you would. That way you're also notified when new videos come out. There will be over 20 in this series of personal finance and personal budgeting that I'm going to try to keep in that two to five minute window so they'll be easy to digest for you. Uh, hopefully that they're, they are helpful for you. And I appreciate you watching the videos. 